a reading for Leo singles, actually. Leos that are not involved with anybody, not looking for anybody to come back, but is ready and um, willing to engage or meet with somebody, okay? Leo single, what are their options in love for November 9th through the 16th? Leo singles, what do Leo singles need to know? I saw the Nine of Wands, which is a card of Taurus. Three of Wands, um, seems like some of you have been through the battle and now you have come out on the other side and waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for, waiting to receive what it is that you really deserve. I saw the High Priestess as well, using your intuition to do so. You know what you want, you know what you need in your life, you know what you will and what you won't accept. Okay, I see communication with that Eight of Wands there. Sagittarius energy. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for Leo Singles for November 9th through the 16th. Hmm. You may have a uh, Virgo that is um, coming towards you, or you guys are right there um, on the cusp of being a Virgo, Leo Virgo. And um, whoever this is, whether it be you or the person that's coming towards you, is very secure within themselves. Um, they're broken hearted though. They've been through something, okay? They have heartache attached to them. But they have come out on the other side a better person, it seems, here. Again, whether it's you or the person that's coming towards you, okay? This person is abundant within themselves. They really don't need anybody else. And, and that's kind of what you need or what you would like to see in somebody that is trying to involve themselves with you because you want somebody that can stand, you know, on their own and do their own thing, be secure with who they are, you know? But I almost feel like this person, they are coming out of heartache heartbreak could possibly be a three-party relationship but three of swords is not necessarily involving another person it could be just heartache over being deceived by somebody being lied to being mistreated you know it's heartache in general feeling betrayed in some way or another here but i feel like this person is also has learned something from their heartache and they are looking to get involved with somebody else they really are they're looking to get involved as if they're tired of being single like they 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 were hurt before and you know the remnants are still there but they're they're moving on from it is what it is and the page of wands and the ace of swords Leo, I almost feel like either it's another fire sign, Sagittarius. Oh, excuse me, I gotta sneeze, you guys. <laughs> you may have another fire sign trying to approach you. Um, Aries, Leo, another Leo like yourself, or Sagittarius. But this person is. Either they're younger than you, or they have, they're not as mature as you are, okay? But it's something that they have figured out, that they have learned, that is bringing them towards you, okay? I also feel like this is not someone that's new, because I feel like you guys share heartbreak okay for one reason or another and it may be different reasons why why you're hurt versus why they are hurt okay but I feel like it's something that you guys share between the two of you both of you are heartbroken okay but I feel like this page of wands person is actually the one that 
feels like they were more in the wrong or that you try to reach out to them and try to make things right and they they possibly did not accept it when you did this so now you have your back turned to it or they have their back turned to it and whoever this is this page of wands whether it's you or the other person let me just put it like this Somebody here that's in the Nine of Pentacles energy, feeling very secure, feeling very, you know, sure of themselves, has been heartbroken. And they had their back turned on a situation, is wanting to start anew. Okay? The other person that was involved in this um, this relationship was also heartbroken. But I feel like the, this other person, the Page of Wands energy, is feels as though they are primarily responsible for the, the what went wrong in the relationship and they realize that now is what I feel they realize that and they're trying to come towards you and as I say that the two of wands is under the bottom of the deck which is the overall energy where there is a path that needs to be followed there is a choice that needs to be made which way to go and I feel like this is a page of wands deciding to come towards um, the person in the nine of Pentacles energy here okay and I'm saying it that way because you know it could be vice versa here but either way it goes both of you guys were hurting this somebody just realizes that you know, maybe my part, I played a bigger part in the demise of the relationship, you know, and wants to um, come forward here. I feel like there was a lot of confusion and illusion um, involved in this connection. I also feel like the person that is very, very like comfortable in themselves and very secure and abundant. Um, they are not, they are, they're, they may have options. This person may have options, but I feel like this person is not looking for everything or looking at many, many things. I feel like it's, it's one particular thing that, that this Virgo, and I feel like it's, it's Virgo energy here that Virgo is, this Virgo is looking for. And that is security, abundance in a relationship. Well, not just in a relationship, but just in life in general. But I see here that the options that this, this person with this earth energy has is that the options are either I can be single and happy or I can be with someone and happy. I don't know. Let me bring these down a little bit. Or I can be with someone and happy. But either way, I'm good. Either way. I feel like this person feels. Yes. Very intuitive. Very spiritual. I feel. And I feel like this person has put that energy out there. And I feel like the, the person, the Page of Wands energy, feels that energetically that this person is, is the one. This person has put their, their wishes out there. They know what it is they want. And now they're in the Seven of Pentacles where they're just waiting on, they're just looking at things and going, you know, this is what I've done. Um... In the past, I'm not doing that anymore. They're, they're like reflecting. But they're also wishing because the star with the Seven of Pentacles is hoping for something st stable. Like, and they will be, and they are, regardless of whether they decide to stay single or whether they decide to get involved in a relationship, okay? Okay. 
So that is what the option is here. There is an earth sign that is prevalent in the reading, okay? And that could be, and I am want to say Virgo, but it could be Capricorn Taurus as well. But that energy is, is very present here. And um, whether you or the other person, okay? And then you have a fire sign here, which could be you, or it could be someone else with fire element, such as Aries or Sagittarius, okay? And it could be somebody that also has air in their chart. Aquarius, quite possibly. Quite possibly and strongly here, okay? So that is what your option is, Leo, for um, the week of November 9th through the 16th, and I will be speaking with you soon.